Our beautiful planet Earth is a conscious and vibrant living entity. Ancient civilizations revered Earth as sacred, and they believed her to be their great mother. They often built their megalithic sacred monuments, in areas they considered as Earth's highest energy vortexes, or Earth chakras. Structures like Stonehenge, the Pyramids of Egypt, and Mayan, Aztec, and Incan monuments along with many temples, churches, and pilgrimage sites are now considered powerful energetic spots. Just as our body has seven major chakras, so does the Earth. Energy flows through each of Earth's main chakras, and makes up the spiritual body that is our world. The chakras of the Earth are connected by energy circuits called ley lines. This planetary grid system has been known and mapped for millennium. By visiting these places, you could feel and perceive synergy and contact with Mother Earth, opening your chakras to it and becoming a powerful universal energy channel. Though a chakra's location is sometimes up for debate, there are some locations everyone seems to agree on, while some have multiple possibilities. In this video, we will show you the places most commonly connected to the Earth Chakra system, and what they represent spiritually. Here are the seven Earth Chakras around the world. The Root Chakra. Located in Mount Shasta, California, USA. The Root Chakra, located at the base of the spine, is what grounds us. It's symbolized by a lotus with four petals and is red in color. When the root chakra is in balance we feel safe, strong, and committed. When out of balance, we feel unsafe and avoidant of conflict. The root chakra of the earth is widely believed to be located at Mount Shasta in Northern California. Rising out of forests and meadows, Mount Shasta is known for its natural beauty and powerful spiritual presence. The still active volcano is one of the highest peaks in the Cascade Range. This chakra is regarded as the base or root of the Earth's energy, regulating universal life and acting as a geyser of upward energy. It makes sense that the root chakra lies at Mount Shasta, as Native American tribes have historically believed that the volcano could be the center of the universe, or even the birthplace of the Creator. The Sacral Chakra Located in Lake Titicaca, Peru and Bolivia. The Sacral Chakra, located in the pubic area, governs our emotions, creativity, and ability to enjoy life. When it's in balance, we feel joy and are able to produce our greatest gifts. We feel connected to life, with a sense of being on an adventure. When out of balance, we can feel closed off. Earth's sacral chakra lies at Lake Titicaca, which is intersected through the middle by the Peruvian-Bolivian border. The lake is home to Isla del Sol, or Island of the Sun, a Bolivian island which was once home to the Incas, who considered the lake sacred. What's more, an archaeological team found an ancient temple completely submerged in the lake. Lake Titicaca is said to embody both masculine and feminine energies, thereby making itself representative of sexuality, as the sacral chakra. This chakra is believed to regulate all species on Earth, and their evolutionary processes. The Solar Plexus Chakra. Located in Uluru and Kata Juda Rock Formations, Australia. The Solar Plexus is another name for the House of the Soul. Located in our stomach area and yellow in color, the solar plexus is about integrity, having a higher purpose, and is the seat of confidence in one's life path. This is where we manifest from. Earth's solar plexus chakra is a dual chakra, said to lie at two massive rock formations, called Uluru and Kata Juda. The two are about 18 miles apart. Rising several thousand feet out of the Australian desert, the rock formations play an important role in local aboriginal groups' ancient wisdom and creation stories. The solar plexus chakra has to do with wisdom and processing emotion, acting as a makeshift umbilical cord to the planet and maintaining life all around the globe. The heart chakra. Located in Glastonbury and Shaftesbury, England. The heart chakra, which is green in color and located at the heart center, is where healing takes place. It's our center of love, connectedness, and forgiveness. When out of balance, we feel close to love and hold grudges, when in balance, we see the good in everyone. 
also a dual chakra. The heart chakra is located at Shaftesbury and Glastonbury, two towns in southern England which are only about 30 miles apart. According to some, the heart chakra may also expand to include Stonehenge. Stories from across traditions meet at this location, from the tales of King Arthur and Avalon, to the legends of Joseph of Arimathea after the resurrection of Jesus. The heart chakra, fittingly, deals with love and healing. Therefore, it is interesting that the combination of Glastonbury and Shaftesbury, has long been believed to represent, the joining together of the ideas of love and will. While Glastonbury and Shaftesbury are the most agreed upon location, for the Earth's heart chakra, some also look to Hawaii's Haleakala volcano, to be the heart chakra, and with good reason. The energy at the top of the volcano, gives off the same frequency as the beating of the human heart. The throat chakra. Located in Egypt and Israel. The light blue throat chakra projects the truth outwardly but also inwardly. This is where we find the confidence to speak our truth, and to express creativity without fear of judgment, or even seeking and needing approval. When in balance, we value truth for truth's sake alone. The throat chakra too, is not just one location, but a combination of three important sites. The Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, Mount Sinai, also in Egypt, and Jerusalem's Mount of Olives. Two of these locations, Mount Sinai and Mount of Olives, are important places in the Bible. Interestingly, connecting the three locations on a map, forms almost a perfect right triangle. The throat chakra symbolizes voice and communication. Some consider the unrest in the Middle East to be the cries of the mother, or Earth's way of calling out for help. The third eye chakra. Located in Western Europe. The third eye chakra is dark blue in color and located on the forehead, just above and right between our two physical eyes. This is where we create our own reality through our beliefs, and whatever we choose to see in the world. When out of balance, we can feel overstimulated, and clouded with thoughts that don't feel like our own. In today's world which is so full of information and outrage porn, the third eye can come out of balance easily. Meditation and allowing stillness can be very helpful for bringing it back into balance. The third eye chakra is the only chakra that can shift locations on the earth, supposedly due to the rotation of the earth on its axis. Also referred to as the eon activation center, the chakra is believed to move every eon, or new age. This chakra is also said to coordinate with constellations. According to astrology, we are currently in the age of Aquarius, which determined that the third eye, would be in line with the heart chakra in England. When we move into the next astrological phase, the age of Capricorn, the chakra is expected to shift to Brazil. Astronomers estimate each astrological age, to last approximately 2100 to 2500 years. The third eye chakra provides strong recognition and awareness, as well as clear thinking and vision, by bringing together rational knowledge and intuition. The Crown Chakra. Located in Mount Kailash, Tibet. The seventh chakra, which is purple in color and sits above the head like a crown, is our connection to higher guidance. It's where we feel connected to the cosmos, are open to seeing signs, and finding meaning in seemingly random things. While most people are not as connected to this chakra, this is where we feel connected to the universe. It is only fitting that the crown jewel of the Himalayas, serves as the crown chakra. Reaching almost 22,000 feet tall, Mount Kailash is often called the roof of the world, and is considered to be the most sacred mountain in the Himalayas. The crown chakra's power lies in its spirituality. Mount Kailash serves as a powerful connector to something greater than oneself, both physically, because of its grandeur, and non-physically, because of its sacredness. So holy is the mountain to Tibetans that even attempting to climb it, is considered an offense to the realm of spirituality. The highly developed consciousness by the Tibetans, is a strong indicator of the energy that resides in the crown chakra of the planet. Just as our crown chakra connects our will, with the divine will, Mount Kailash connects the earth to its spiritual destiny. The earth chakras are like organs that are vital to the health of the world, and to all living beings dependent upon the various environments provided by the world. 
Each chakra serves a different function, which is twofold. To maintain the overall global health, and to transmit and receive energy encoded with information. These were the seven chakras of the earth. Hope you enjoyed learning about these amazing places filled with powerful energies. Have you visited any of the earth's chakras? How was your connection to them? Did you perceive any energy out of the ordinary? We would love to know your story in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video please give it thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions, or suggestions for future videos. Subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified when the next video is out. And help Spiritualify rise the vibrations by sharing this video with your family and friends.